Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So first of all, make sure you have a good reference beside you because you should constantly look at it. Okay, this is how I do it. First, select the clay strip brush and start putting some clay on the mouth part. This is the first step, so make sure you do it on a low poly mesh. Once you've done that, smooth out the edges by holding shift. Now press shift C for crease brush, then make the line in the middle of the mouth. Now go to modifier section. Then add multi-res modifier and subdivide one time. Now continue pronouncing that line using crease brush. Then by holding the control, make the upper lip more visible. Do the same thing for the lower lip. Then let go of the control. Increase the size of the brush by pressing F and empty out the bottom of the mouth. Now lower the size of the brush and pronounce the lips even more. Press G for grab tool and shape the lips based on the reference. Now pick up the crease tool and sculpt every major detail you see on the lips. You gotta look for them in the reference. The lips need to be puffed up a bit more. So press I for inflate and make the surface of the lips a bit more puffy. Also do the same thing for the sides of the mouth. Then carve in the top of the mouth. Now subdivide one more time and pronounce the lips even more. Pick up the grab tool again. Make sure you shape the lips correctly. Then go to the sides and push them inside a bit more using grab tool. Also don't forget the chin. Okay now it's time to go around the mesh and fix it from every angle possible. Having some reference photos with different views would help a lot in this case because sometimes when you look at it from front view it looks great but once you rotate it and see the side you go eh it's not quite right. So make sure you fix every angle. In this case, I noticed the lips should be more puffy. And what did we use for that? Inflate brush. Made the bottom lip a bit bigger. We also have some bumpy part on the upper lip that we can take care of using the same brush. The more you work on it, the better it gets. I pick up the grab tool again and drag the upper lip to the lower lip a bit more. Using the crease brush, I carved in the top of the mouth even more and holding control for the edges. Also remember, you can smooth out any weird edges or the parts where you think you messed up by holding shift. I noticed the sides of the mouth need to be corrected. So I drag them to the outside and smooth it out. I pronounce the lips even more using crease brush. Then when we're close to the finish line, I stop the white one more time and start sculpting a line right on the edges of the lips. I do this for both upper and lower lips. Then I smooth out any sharp edges. So this is how I sculpt the mouth. You can work on it even more and make it more realistic by adding some wrinkles to the lips, cracks, bumps, and all that good stuff. But this took me like less than 10 minutes to make. I'm sure you can do it too. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you find this video helpful, which I hope you did, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notification because we are gonna do the other parts of the face in the future videos and you don't wanna miss it.